Hi, party planners and creatives. Let me show you just how easy peasy it is to use cream to set up your digital products. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so I am on the cream dashboard and the first thing we want to do is go over to our payments tab. So we're gonna click on payments. Once we get into our payments, we're going to click on products. Now that we're in our products, we're going to go ahead and add in our digital product. You need two things to create a digital product. You need a product image and then the product file. Your product image needs to be a JPEG and your product file needs to be a PDF. Once you have those two things, you're ready to start. So click on create product. Once we are in here, we are going to give our product a name. Now that we have a name, it's time to give it a description. And I went to ChatGPT to do this. All I asked was it to give me a product description for my yard signs that I am gonna be selling on my digital store. And this is what it gave me. Make sure that you read it and make sure that it follows with your guidelines for your business. Once you have that in there, we're on to the next step. We're gonna to go to media. Now this is where you're going to need that image. So let's go ahead and click on upload. Once we get here, you want to add your images into this media storage. Once it downloads in, simply double click on the image that you're looking for and it's gonna drop itself right in here. Now the next thing that we want to do that's the most important thing is to give our product a price. So we're gonna go down into pricing and we are going to give it a price. Now, if you add just the price in the amount here, that means it's not on sale. I love to keep things on sale even if it's not a sale. So we're just gonna say that it's gonna be on sale for $75 and it is originally $275. And then we're going to press save. Once we have that saved, we are not done yet, but we're almost to the finish line. We wanna make sure that we're put in the most important things and the most important thing is the actual digital product. So we're gonna go right back into pricing it's gonna take us right back down here, but now it looks a little different. It actually has the product name and that sale price there. We want to click right here. It's going to take us to another page. And in this other page, we're gonna once again, tell it what image we want to show up. And it's gonna be that same image there. And then we're gonna go down till we get to our shipping and delivery. It says that we are doing a physical product, which is not true. We need it to be a digital product. So we're gonna click on digital product. And now it's gonna ask for that digital product. So click there. All right, so this is a whole separate new media storage. This is going to hold all of your digital PDF files. So we're going to upload that now. Once that file has uploaded, simply double click on it and it'll drop it right down in here for you. To make sure that it's the right one, please name everything according to what it is. And then the last thing to do is to press save. Once it is successfully saved, we can press the back button to go all the way back to the beginning. And if you did it correctly, it will say the price, the name, and then the product type will be digital. And you are ready to make that digital dough. Now, wasn't that easy peasy?